Okay. Due to the fact that the violence that's happened in our community, uh, we have uh, came together to try to put something together to give awareness and give a little um, uh, heightened awareness that the individuals on the street that we need to they need to know that we are here. Um, I say that because I, you know, I am a ex-consumer of the street, so I know we, in our mind state, only operate under if we are, if someone is uh, accountable, if we're accountable to something. The reason why the violence is the way it is is because we're not accountable to anybody. Churches, mamas, daddies, nobody. So we act, to, we act like we have no accountability. Market calendars for February 3rd. Um, we're going to have a, a unity that's going to live in peace, a live in peace uh, march and rally. Um, so what we're going to do is meet at Home Depot at 10 a.m. And at 10 a.m. we're going to give you the rendezvous point. And we're going to walk all the way through the city to Jack Crow Park. And the reason why we picked Jack Crow Park is that that's like the only family park we got left. And we don't want to end this, this march with something negative. We want to end with like a party, a celebration, a new a new coming out to stopping this violence. Um, so February 3rd, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're not gonna be out there long. We don't, you know, we ain't gonna hold you too much that long. Um, if you want to be involved, we need volunteers up the yin yang. We want everybody in the room to be a volunteer. So that means we'll be showing up. So email account is epa.peace at gmail.com. So you can email them and Ringo will get back to you about what services we need and all the things. We need a lot of press. We need a lot of things to make this thing work. We need a lot of people, all right? We need all congregations, all people to come on out.